Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to use uh, unit conversions on the TI Inspire CAS, and it's a really cool feature that not a lot of people use, um, so let's see what it's all about. So the way it works, uh, first you have to put in uh, the number of things you're going to convert to other things. So say I want to convert uh, 36 inches into feet, so I don't know why you'd do this on a calculator, but that's the example we're going to do. So what you want to do is you type in the number of things you want to convert to other things, now you're going to press the catalog button, which is underneath delete or next to the templates. It looks like a little catalog. I think it just looks like a book, but um, you're probably on tab one if you don't use this very often. Tab one is where just all of the built-in functions are, and you can scroll through them. They're in alphabetical order, um, and you can see down here it's telling you what to do. I mean, that's not telling us anything really, but um, that's what all the arguments that you would need to put in to use that. Um, tab number two. Things are just organized for you. So if you're doing calculus, it'll show you things that probably have to do with calculus um, or that you would expect. And then tab number three is what we actually want to look at. So tab three has a lot of units. So length, for example, and you can see down here, um, angstroms, astro astronomical units, uh, centimeters, decimeters, fathoms. It's got all kinds of stuff, and those are alphabetized. Uh, area has a lot. No, it doesn't. It has acres and hectares, um, volume, a lot of things in volume. That's interesting. It tells you a cup is eight ounces, um, so you don't have to convert. That one, I guess, is so common. Um, and all of these things, okay? So what we want to do, though, is instead of using these directly, we want to make use of the conversion assistant. So I've already put in 36, and I want to tell it I'm converting inches into feet. So what I'm going to do is go in here. And there's a drop down for what I'm trying to do. So uh, inches and feet are length. So inches, and I want to convert, so length rather, and I want to go from inches into feet. And when I press OK, it's going to set that up for me. And when I press Enter here, it's going to say that 36 inches is 3 feet, which is really cool. Um, so say I wanted to convert uh, like cubic inches into uh, cubic meters. Um, so say I had, I don't know, a thousand cubic inches. So I'm going to type a thousand. I'm going to go here to the catalog, choose this, and then I'm going to go to volume, because that's what I'm dealing with, and I want to go from cubic inches into cubic meters, which is the default. I press OK, press Enter, and it tells me a thousand cubic inches is 0 0.016387 cubic meters. Um, so I'm sure you can come up with lots of ways that you would use this. I just wanted you to know that it exists. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.